HDMI is not just a cable, it's actually a backbone of your entire AV experience. And in the recent past, we have seen that how modern day AV receivers are adapting HDMI ports on their back panels everywhere. We have even seen some sound bars having nothing except than one HDMI port. So the adaptation of HDMI has become very, very fast and the new formats of HDMI are literally changing each and every content and the way you will adapt to that content. For instance, HDMI 2.0, HDMI 2.1 and now there's a news of HDMI 2.2 coming in. Now I know most of you are getting confused as to what really suits to my system, whether I should buy a HDMI 2.0 cable, should I buy a 2.1 version cable and how is this HDMI 2.2 going to add value to our home cinema setups. So I am going to diverse into this topic today. So hang on and let's get started. Okay, let us start with the core differentiation of an HDMI 2.0 port versus an HDMI 2.1 version port. HDMI 2.0 port has got a data transmission speed of only 18 Gbps compared to the HDMI 2.1 which offers 48 Gbps. Now this massive leap actually contributes in two more parameter unlocking for the HDMI 2.1. The first one is the refresh rate. While the HDMI 2.0 supports 4K at 60Hz, the HDMI 2.1 can now support 8K at 60Hz and 4K at 120Hz. Now this is where the advantage comes in for most of the modern day devices like PlayStation 5s, Xbox or even Apple TVs. The next feature that gets unlocked due to 48 Gbps speed of HDMI 2.1 is the higher video quality data. For instance, an HDMI 2.0 could only transfer static HDR, whereas with the HDMI 2.1, we can now see a world full of different colors and bright and controlled scenes. And this is possible due to the dynamic HDR that HDMI 2.1 brings to the table, which is Dolby Vision and HDR10 Plus supported. So for modern day displays, as well as for modern day ultra short throw projectors or long throw projectors, HDMI 2.1 has become a core necessity. Now, while these are some of the main primary parameters on which we differentiated the HDMI 2.0 and 2.1, let us also study what are the additional features that HDMI 2.1 brings to the table. Now, the first one is the VRR. VRR stands for variable refresh rate and that gives you a play between various refresh rates. For instance, in our previous video of Apple TV, we mentioned how you can turn on the setting of match frame rate in the recent Apple TV products. With this match frame rate, you can actually have a variable refresh rate. You can have 24 Hertz, 60 Hertz, 30 Hertz, and you can constantly switch between this. So that is the advantage of having a VRR, which is only possible with HDMI 2.1 version cable. The second feature is of ALLM. Now ALLM stands for Auto Low Latency Mode. And this is something which I am not going to really talk much about, but I'm sure all the gamers would know that how low latency is going to make the world of gaming more and more real. And the third and the final feature that you get with HDMI 2.1 is the EARC support. Now EARC ensures that you have a Dolby Atmos signal from your TV to your AVR or your soundbar without any loss or compression. Now that is definitely going to be a big win, especially if you're investing in these modern day technologies of Dolby Atmos. Now many people have this question. Tanmay, I don't have a projector which has got an HDMI 2.1 support or I don't need products which are HDMI 2.1 compatible. So is it logical to invest in an HDMI 2.1 cable? Because they are going to be expensive. Well, guess what? HDMIs have got backward compatibility which means that even if you use a 2.1 version cable, it will definitely support the 2.0 formats or ports of your devices. Now, the reason why I say that, because cabling happens only once while your interiors are happening, but the devices you can change over a period of time. And later on, when you change the device and bring a new 2.1 version product, this cable will always be beneficial. Now, since we saw that the cables have got a backward compatibility, we still have a lot of people who may not find value in HDMI 2.1. So let us try to understand that who should choose an HDMI 2.0 version cable. Now it is good for people who have got their primary content in 1080p formats. For instance, if you're running some classes or you're looking for a 
projector in your restaurant well you don't need a fancy 2.1 version cable you can settle in for a 2.0 version cable if your content sources are going to be set top boxes they are not going to be hdmi 2.1 compatible and that is where you can again stick to an hdmi 2.0 format also to those of you who are not investing any in high end audio setups like dolby atmos or you are not using apple tvs or playstations and you don't see that happening in the near future you can again rely on an hdmi 2.0 version cable and for all the tech nerds as well as people who are looking to spend on their home theater equipments which are futuristic well to all of you there is no other compromise than going with for an hdmi 2.1 version cable now that we are clear about hdmi 2.0 hdmi 2.1 and we have settled in that okay maybe i need to go for hdmi 2.1 for all the latest standards but guess what we live in a technology industry and things are not going to be that easy we are suddenly punched by a new format called as hdmi 2.2 now that is where the world starts changing and we feel that hey you know what hdmi 2.1 is no more the latest format and it is true it is not the latest but we are going to see if hdmi 2.2 is really going to be worth it in 2025 or how easy is it going to be with hdmi 2.2 adapting to the old standards of hdmi 2.1 as well as what are the main features and advantages that you are going to see in the hdmi 2.2 version cables now first of all just the way we saw the jump between an hdmi 2.0 to 2.1 of 18 gbps to 48 gbps the hdmi 2.2 is now bringing in 96 gbps of bandwidth now when you have 96 gbps definitely it's not going to be easy on the pockets the cables are super expensive but at the same time they will have tons of features that can be covered with it for instance the news is that the hdmi 2.2 will now support 4k at 240 hertz which is insane it's double that of what 4k 120 hertz hdmi 2.1 is supporting the 8k will stay at 60 hertz but the good news is that it can go full chroma that is 4 is to 4 is to 4 and it can support 10 as well as 12 bit color depth now this 96 gbps will obviously encourage the movie makers to share their data or to record movies at the highest formats so that you have now 8k data exchange extremely smooth with this hdmi 2.2 Now while these are some of the advantages definitely we will also see a better output especially for gaming and OTT content with the HDMI 2.2 setups for playstations the auto low latency mode is just going to go one step above where you will be able to actually analyze that what is the lag time so you'll be able to indicate the lag time which can actually help a lot of gamers with this new HDMI 2.2 version cable the movies will have better output considering the fact that the dynamic HDR is now going to have more room to play around with this bandwidth and they will be able to interpret the data of the video signal in a better format so these are some of the advantages of hdmi 2.2 but the fact is that this is just the new launch for the products to accept hdmi 2.2 to do their testing and to roll out their new devices it is definitely going to take at least late 2025 or mid 2026 so by the time hdmi 2.2 becomes like a common culture in the tech world it is still going to be at least 2 years from today now is it logical to invest in it well the cables have still not been manufactured the cable manufacturers are still testing with the new formats and they are trying to see what can they do to encourage more and more hdmi 2.2 material because there are few brands who have recently shifted from hdmi 2.0 to 2.1 So for 2.2 it will still be a long journey and as of now I definitely feel HDMI 2.1 is going to be bare minimum requirement in today's home theater in 2025. Let me know your thoughts on HDMI 2.0, 2.1 and 2.2 in the comments below and we can keep an active discussion out there. And if you want to buy any good quality HDMI cables, we do have audio quest with us. We have brands like Cords Profi Gold, Bandridge, and whatnot. So feel free to connect with my team using the link that is shared in the pin comment, and we will be happy to help you get the right solution with the HDMI cables for your home theater and AV needs. Thank you so much for watching. I Tanmay Mehta, your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya. We'll see you again in the next video.